All right, and welcome to another episode of the P114 Filmmakers Podcast. This is episode eight, season two. I'm one of your hosts, Jesse Knight. I'm Randall Vanier. I'm Tyler Gray. Gray. Oh, shit. Tyler Schultz. <laughs> Go ahead, Kat. Kat Holmes. <laughs> eight and forty. <laughs> right on. Being. We're all here. Uh, we, we actually completed Voltron today, so uh, that's something good. Um, we got the head, the arms, and the legs. I guess we don't have the torso. Oh. oh. Well, the head is the torso, so there we go. Okay, um, so today we have sort of an interesting kind of topic we're going to start off with. Um, Randall brought this idea up to me the other day, and I've had a little bit of an experience with it, but it's like, okay, you're chilling maybe for a few years watching a show you really like. Maybe it's just on the first season or whatever, but there's this character that's in the show, and for whatever reason, they... Take, they remove the actor playing that character and they bring in another actor to play that exact same character. And how, you know, it can be kind of a jarring experience. Um, uh, I can only think of two right off the bat that I'm just going to let it kind of go. Is, uh, I was really, it took me a while to kind of get into the show, but I was watching uh, Spartacus, um, the series. And uh, the main guy playing Spartacus, I think it was like maybe one or two seasons, but it was enough material where you really got invested in that actor as that character. But, well, unfortunately that actor died. And so they didn't stop the show, they just had somebody replace that actor of Spartacus. And that was kind of hard. He's the main, the name of the show and all that kind of stuff. And at first, I was like, I don't know. It just does not, this feels like sort of a cardboard cutout version of the guy that we had before. But it took about three episodes, but after that, it worked, and then I couldn't um, recognize the rift too much. It just seemed fine after that. Um, another one, a little funnier, is uh, I remember, and it was, I remember it because it was kind of big in the news at the time, um, was uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and they replaced the mom after the first season. And I think it had to do with, I can't remember quite exactly, what it was some I've, sort of personality conflicts yeah, or something, that. Like, that, you know, something like that, you know, something like that, but... That being a secondary character, not that's not as jarring, you know. If they replaced Will Smith, that would have been <laughs> like, oh, oh, gee, you know. But it wasn't quite like that, you know. So it was sort of a background character in it, but Being still, now. same kind of thing. Um, uh, Randall, since you brought up the topic, what are some ones that, that come to mind for you? Well, some of them were the a famous one, which I mean, I guess a famous one if you <laughs> watch old t- television. Uh, 60 television type thing. Uh, the Darren's on Bewitched, the television show Bewitched. Oh, they right. replaced the Darren, uh, his, her husband, the witch's husband. Uh, I'm not sure what season it was. It was like it was. He had been in there on there for at least at least a few seasons, maybe three, four seasons. Or right. Like that. And they replaced him with another Darren, and they didn't tell anybody about because this is back before the internet, before a lot of you know a lot of television. Gossip and all this other stuff, magazines and all other stuff that was out. So right. they just didn't tell anybody that they were going to replace him in the next season. They replaced him with a completely different actor. Right. And a lot of people were up in arms about that. And I've heard, huh. read, or what. Of course, I wasn't there. But uh, right. So uh, they're very I'm not that old, you know. similar. You know, they <laughs> but, seem to be. Yeah. From what I remember. Mm, yeah. I mean, there's something. It seems like to me. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've seen an episode of Bewitched, but I remember like see, it seemed like one care, uh, one one of them was more about I'm gonna get a drink, I'm right. gonna get a drink. It's like that it was like sure. they read they wrote in the script. I maybe I don't know, but, but they wrote in the script. It seemed like one of them was always every other line is I'm gonna, gonna get I'm gonna drink get a drink because like you know some some crazy stuff is going on. And he right. was like I gotta get a drink. You know, yeah. kind of, I mean, it was one of them. The other one didn't seem to have that thing or whatever type right. thing, but. Maybe that's you know, but that's just a little thing. But uh, right. I just noticed that, that that kind of thing. But uh, but that's one of the earliest ones. They don't do it. Uh, I said to you, they don't do it as much in television anymore. They usually say, "We'll just get uh, the person will die, or they'll go off to college, or they'll right. go off to this, or they will go and do this, or whatever." Yeah. They kind of go off the show, and they don't, you know. And- they yeah. say some mention something about the character or Generally whatever. Generally, it happens like after season's over yeah. or something, so they can and write cause it because you know there's so much media right now that mm-hmm. you know you will know in a heartbeat if if a person's <laughs> being replaced or whatever. So right. and people usually get involved 
right. or the character or, or mm-hmm. actor who's playing the character. Absolutely. And they like them or whatever type of thing, so they'll say, oh, he went off to do a movie or he's going to do movies mm-hmm. or whatever type right. of thing. He or she. And um, so they... Um, but so they don't do it as television as much, so it's not as jarring anymore to uh, that. But sure. But you know that's. I can. Uh, I bet it happens with pilots. I mean, we don't see a lot yeah. of the pilot episodes mm. and stuff. So that's you, you shoot it, and then you're like, oh god, we can't use this person. <laughs> they're off doing something else, or they don't want to do. Like or maybe it just maybe doesn't it was a, work. Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> or they didn't want to do that to begin mm-hmm. with, so they just said did as a lark. Hey, I'll just film this right. pilot, la la la, and, and then they say, nah, I'm not. Don't want to do it in the first place. And a, if a similar situation happens, like on a movie, well, then you're never going to see the footage no. generally with that other person, you know. But like I said, they did yeah, do yeah. a mo- they do do sometimes in movies too. Right. Again, they don't do as much anymore. But right. like, I'll just use the example of Back to the Future, uh-huh. the first movie Back to the Future. They had a girl playing his girlfriend, uh, Marty's mm-hmm. girlfriend. Oh yeah. And they switched it to Elizabeth Elizabeth Shue in the second one. Right. And the third one. Also, the Crispin Glover character they changed yeah. him out too. But a lot of people don't really realize it because he did a he did a Crispin oh, Glover impression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's old makeup anyway. So yeah, yeah. yeah what is just, you're looking at him hanging upside down. Crispin so. Glover, the guy that played his father, they changed the actor in the second one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's. It's very similar. You, you think tell, it's him. Because yeah. he's doing a, basically doing an impression. And actually, Crispin Glover, wasn't he trying to get some money because they were using his likeness yeah, or something? Basically the second that, one? Like, his yeah, basically yeah, losing his likeness. Yeah, he was suing that was Steven like, Spielberg or somebody, yeah, whoever, the studios yeah. or whatever, for uh, for using his likeness without him right. giving it's likeness. Him consent. Means using his personality and his persona as that character in, in there. Yeah. Yeah. Without, without, Crispin you know, Glover's permission. pretty. He's kind of. He's very different <laughs> he <laughs> than everybody else. Well, see, they yeah. also did in the second one show him in the background in the fifties when he went right. back and showed uh, him in the back, and they did not give him. Either. Uh, he did not give him permission either. Yeah, they should have. They should have given him the money because yeah. they reused him in that. I, I can see the argument. They never had him be sure. doing a character, but right. he, he was in the background, like walking by or something right. like that in the in the dance area or whatever. Right. But um, yeah. So that's what they. That's. I think that was main the main thing, or whatever. Maybe he had a problem right. with, but um, right. have but, you guys ever had a had a run in with like you're following something, but they change out an actor to replace a character, or so, something even similar to that? Have you ever experienced that? Um, well, one from my childhood was Blue's Clues. What happened in Blue's Clues? They changed it from what was it, the green one, yeah, to the his cousin. cousin. And I was like, no, this isn't the same. I remember being very salty about it. I didn't yeah, like yeah. the show anymore. Right. Because like, he went off to, I think they said college. I was like, he's in his 40s. <laughs> or something. That was changed, the main dude. That yeah. Was with, oh, they wow. changed the host. Wow. And I was like, I remember being young. Uh, it bothered me being very young because I was like, where, where's he at? What, what if he had, like, they changed, the, they changed the actor or they changed the person doing it. But it was complete. Uh, they he, they said it was John, or you know what? Yeah, they said name. It's the same guy. Yeah, that, oh, it's John. That's not the same oh, actor yeah. playing John or whatever. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what. Yeah. That's messed up. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'll be honest. I I don't like when they change it. Like I just lose interest. Mm-hmm. Right. I'd rather not stuff. have the character at all than to have exactly. somebody come exactly. in and. Just, it's not always extremely different the way they play it, but it's right. different enough that it bothers you. Yeah. Yeah. That was my experience in Spartacus. I wasn't going to do it, but I kept watching it for some reason. And then the new guy, it just worked. It was like this replacement happened, and I'm like, okay, I'm fine with this now. It was kind it's, of, it's, it's tedious funny. to do it. It's very, yeah, it's very, it tedious. It's very <laughs> dangerous. To, I don't know I say dangerous because it's not life threatening. But it I mean, it's kind of like, dangerous though. But it's it's dangerous for your ratings or whatever. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> but but uh, it's, but yeah, it's because you know, like I said, a lot of people get involved with an actor or actress mm-hmm. or whatever type thing playing that character, and sure. they're just like a lot of people didn't like that. You talking about Fresh Prince of Bel Air? They didn't right. like that new. The new mother playing, they didn't right. like her at all. I just remember it being in the news, and nowadays it doesn't really hit the news like stuff did back then. I mean, you get well, entertainment yeah. news. If you but like I said, it'll hit, if they're going to do that, it'll hit the news like gangbusters oh, yeah. no matter what, and right. whether people like it or not. It's, oh, it's right. I got one. Yeah. This one really triggered me. Family Guy when they changed Brian the dog. 
when he died oh, to the yeah. other dude. The other dog, I don't even remember his name because he was so forgettable. Yeah. He, Wait, Brian died? That was only for a couple of episodes, right? Still, though, because when it came uh, out, yeah, though, yeah, nobody they, knew. It was they part thought of the story. And they it was their was, joke, yeah, though, to make you yeah. think, oh, this is legit now. Because yeah. they did for like three or four episodes. Can they not draw him anymore? <laughs> yeah. But, oh, man, I couldn't watch it anymore. Yeah, like that, I, that I dog was, like, was lame. He was lame, and I was yeah. like, I don't like him talking to <laughs> yeah, he's Stewie. Like, he's, and, uh-huh. He sounded like a yeah, uh, mafia yeah, kind of guy or whatever. Yeah, exactly. It, oh, I, I, uh, and this is what I did when I was watching them. Uh-huh. I literally stopped and went on Google and said, does Brian ever come back? Because I was literally about to stop watching the show Brian. because I couldn't handle it. But I could see him them doing it as a joke. Yeah. For that very Yo, reason. No, it was for that reason. Because he wanted to prove that no one's safe in the show. Right. Even though they do it for so many seasons because the joke is, you know, they keep doing family guys. Right. Yeah. But he wanted right, to prove right. a point, you know. But right. oh I was yeah. so happy when I looked it up and I said Brian returns in this episode. Mm-hmm. And I just skipped and went to that episode because I, I he just wasn't likable though. Like yeah, I'm I, sure they did that yeah. on purpose, but oh that was I mean the thing, thing about it is it wasn't given necessarily for Seth Farland on a break because he still does voices for it. <laughs> it wasn't like he was like, I don't want to do Brian's voice for a while and I want to break, whatever. He <laughs> has to do other voices for everybody. You know? And that's his voice, too. <laughs> yeah, that's his actual. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, so it's not like he was good, giving himself a rest or whatever type yeah. thing. <laughs> it's a very interesting voice when it's just his voice. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Super deep, super interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sinatra singer. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a really pretty voice. Mm-hmm. Um. A lot of times they'll have like on well, this day and age, you know, you'll have somebody will do something criminal, right? And then they're off the show, so then it has to be, yeah, you know, like we were talking about House of Cards with the spacey thing. We don't yeah. have to get into detail about that, but yeah. boom, he gone, he dead, and that happened, yeah. you know, there. And then I loved that show, but I really didn't want to watch it after that. No disrespect to the other actors in it and all that; they're wonderful. Um, but I just, I don't know. It just seemed. I, I just, I don't know. Oh. I felt betrayed by Spacey. <laughs> and, so there's, you like, know. there's like two things. Because then, like, you know, I was telling you about Roseanne earlier. Oh, yeah. So, you know, in years ago in the 90s, they had a different Becky, and then they switched her out mm-hmm. because the original Becky wanted to go to college and stuff like that because she was hitting that age. And then, you know, they had a different DJ for the first episode. But now they have the Connors. Well, you know, speaking of, you know, she didn't do anything that was illegal, but she was racist. She said a racist remark. Sure. Um, probably. Like an idiot. And, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm always going to be emotionally loyal to her because I always right. love her, but right. I don't support her now. Right. And I probably, you know, I'd probably cry if I still saw her, but, you know, sure. that's because I grew up loving her. What's well, complex, yeah, too. It is. And I don't, you don't want to, like, instantly, she's not like an instant demon. Or no, she like did that. a horrible, just, she said a horrible like, thing. We're in a transition era too for our for humanity, I think. I'm actually too, so it's pretty yeah. shocked how she is now, but otherwise, um, but yeah. the now there's also moments like this too, where they not only do they change the because this I don't know that they've ever done this with a show because you know the, the Connors was actually Roseanne. Right. At least they changed the name. Yeah. So when she it's, got booted off her own show, she allowed right. them to continue doing it because everybody would have been out of work. So right. now it's the Connors, which. Is something you don't see often right. with, with shows is that yeah. they, she's the reason that show exists. I mean, you right. know, and so yeah. it, it's not even acknowledged the episode she was in the proper they, season. They did. Uh, they did do one one example of that happening. Basically, almost similarity thing happened. This was before the internet. Uh, Valerie, Valerie Harper. Uh, she's an actress. Played. Uh, she was played on Mary Tyler Moore show back in the day. But she did. They got. She got set up to do a, her own sitcom. Not for the same character that she played on Mary Tyler Moore, but she they did do a a, a spin off of that. But anyway, this was years later. Uh, it was just a, her character was a mom who had kept. This was Jason Bateman's one of his earliest sitcoms. Oh right? yeah, okay. Uh, she played he played her older son, and it, she had two uh, three boys. Two two were younger twins, and her son, and he, she had a husband. They did. She was, uh, there was her, it's called Valerie, <laughs> and the sitcom was about just, you know, their lives or whatever, and, um, so they, um, uh, she got in, a, she got in a major spat with, uh, with the network, like, this is maybe third season, it's second season, maybe after the mm-hmm. second season, third season, something like that, right and the network, you know, they just can't come to grips with each other, so they basically booted her, <laughs> and say, there again, wait a minute, 
the, the show's called Valerie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> we either stop all together or what's going on. They basically started, uh, they, uh, re, uh, she, I don't know, I guess she could, uh, I guess she allowed them to do that, whatever. But uh, I don't remember the whole story, but uh, they, Valerie's family, they started calling it Valerie's family. And they put uh, brought in another actress to not portray her, but to, as an aunt. Right. Like the sister of her husband or right, whatever. Sure. And she became the matriarch or whatever, the household or whatever. Right. Did it work? Um, yeah, it lasted a good while. It hmm. Actually, it lasted about three or four more seasons, wow. um, at least. Because wow. um, they even uh, they even changed the networks after a while. It went to CBS after a while. It was I know you're going to Sorry to interrupt you, but remember that whole conversation we had for his company, don't forget. Yeah, yeah, I will convert that up. Uh, the Hogan family. You ever heard of the sitcom Hogan family? Yeah. That was it. They cool. changed the name of the back uh, the the after like the one season of Valerie's family. They changed it to Hogan family the next season. Right. Huh. But I think she still got money probably for Valerie's family. I'm sure she probably right. still got the money. Sure. I mean, I mean, not her salary, but at least got some money from that or whatever. I'm right. sure because it was her name in the title. Right. So, uh, but there again, she had some sort of battles with the network, and that's what happened. It was just like yeah. I could see it over pay or something. Easily. Yeah. This was this was kind of late late eighties mm -hmm. type thing area time frame, mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah, she. Uh, that's some sort of battle. Like I said, some sort of battle with the network over, over something. Right. But um, anyway, but that was one of them. And Three's Company is another one that has a similar history of that. Where the first three seasons, three or four seasons, um, Suzanne Summers played the Dizzy Blonde right. or Chrissy, whatever. And that's what everybody remembers, too. Yeah. yeah. And that was the first four seasons, I believe. Three, four. And uh, maybe fifth. But anyway, and she had a battle with the. She wanted money, sure. more money, right? And she had a battle with the producers, and um, not necessarily network. It was the producers more, and they basically said, "We can't pay you more than you know what we can." Yeah. And she got uh, booted off, and but the but the bad thing about it, is she was still in the contract, so she had to be on. But the way they did that, but the, she still had some of them were doing that. She still had to be appear, uh, still be appear on the show. So they had her on a trip, right? Yeah, she went to suppose they went to go visit her family, and every scene that she's in, she's in a room at her family's house, talking on the phone to one of the the. Because uh, she got so uh, it was bad on the set too, because she would call in sick. And she caught, you know, kind of, and messed up the whole production, uh, and, and the, the actors got pissed off at her too. Right. Even though they might have been on her side at one time, at, right. at, at, after a period of time, they got really just pissed off at her too. Right. So it was just like it, she got everybody turned against her, even though maybe somebody may, may have been on her side at some points. Yeah. And so they, because you know, they got to get paid, or they want to do, you know, they want to do the show too, and so. Uh, but that's what they uh, and she had to be up here, offset. It was offset. It wasn't even like they weren't even talking to each other on the phone. That's why they didn't even want. To, they they didn't even want to talk to her. So they just had a scene with them on the phone going, "Hey, Chrissy, how's it going?" And then it cut to her being on another set, talking on the phone to them or whatever type of thing. But they weren't really talking to her. They were just doing you know just right. acting the part, you know part of. Talking and that's what it was for at least a half season. That's what I'm saying. This was like right in the middle of the season when some of this start stuff started happening. And then they had her her cousin come, and, right? And yeah, and then then the, her cousin, like I guess a few episodes later, but they brought in a different actress to not to play her. Like I said, but cousin, it was identical, uh, right? <laughs> no, no. Different looking, anyway. Well, I mean, like her personality. <laughs> yeah, she had a kind of a again. She, she that's the that's the important part of. They did. They did change Chris's character in the earlier episodes. Chrissy wasn't as dingbat as they did later on, or whatever. Right. She actually seemed like she had some smarts to her. Right. But then they got almost to the point of where she well, seemed just com com <laughs> she was comedy. You know, right. Yeah. She was comedy, like, and that's why she she became more of a main you know focus of some of the stuff because, mm -hmm. uh, and so that's why she wanted more money and all this other stuff. But her husband. Uh, was part of it too. I see. That's what I'm saying. They get you get your family into the right. situation too. Her husband kind of was influencing her too in that respect. Mm -hmm. Even though she's still married to that guy. Right. Anyway, uh, but she got so they just basically booted her off and brought in her cousin, mm -hmm. which 
was only for a temporary. I think they ever had, had to, for temporary purposes until they brought in another actress that right. went the rest of the way. Yeah. But uh, they found out that she was not all ratings bonanza. So because uh, they it continued on for like three or four more seasons, so right. it wasn't like her main. <laughs> she was she not. She didn't a, kill the show. <laughs> yeah, I think would be yeah. the show is John Ritter. John Ritter. Yeah, John Ritter, had John Ritter gone, sure. that that would, would have been have maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was great. He was the he was more of a the the focal point. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, but anyway, um, but she's uh, I saw in an interview that she said she regretted that doing that. She would never have done that what she did. Right. She would have done it a different way right. and everything like that. And sure. she's and to do it, but she kind of just basically. I mean, it was re- that hit the paper. See, this is something that did hit the papers and hit yeah. bigger. You know, like, what are the more. That's just good. <laughs> yeah. You know, these papers you hear. Around. <laughs> or when you die on set, like the crow. Yeah, that. you know, then, thank, you know, in that case, uh, you brought up the crow. Um, that, when he got killed, it was near, they were almost done with everything. Mm-hmm. And so they got away with using a stand-in mm-hmm. and shooting behind and, and that mm-hmm. kind of stuff, yeah. It's one of those sad that things that is thing. awful. Mm-hmm. And he, he had made just two movies at that point, both pretty yeah. good little action films. And you saw this huge... Actually, three. He did three? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry yeah that's cool. Right. That's cool. I mean, but he, whatever. He was one of those people like, oh, this guy's going to be huge, you know? Like, right. he's... And then he... Right. He did... Uh, I mean, it, it's not a important... But, I mean, it's, yeah, he did. Uh, that was a very sad day when I f- first heard that. Yeah. And it was a seems like it's something that totally could have been avoided. Oh, just yeah. I feel even bad for the props master, you know, yeah. or whoever, because God, that's the last thing you ever want to happen on a film. Who set loaded someone it? To get Why killed. was it even loaded? It, it was, wasn't a real bullet, though, was it? No, no it, was, it was paper wadding. Yeah, from a blank. But if you're, if it's in, it was still a little piece of it lodged into the barrel, and no one saw. And then so when they fired the blank, that's what killed him. Did it hit him in the head? Mm-hmm. Did he die instantly? Do you instantly. Think? Well, that's good. Yeah. At least he died instantly. I think so. Yeah. yeah. That's I don't remember. Yeah, I, I don't remember, remember the whole yeah. detail. It seemed but... like it was pretty much, that's it. That's, I bet that's they, a hard... Did somebody like, get sued? Did the family sue? I'm not sure. I don't I'm remember. Sure. It's I Bruce Lee's son, right? Yeah. yeah. It's so sad, you know, because Bruce his, Lee died young. He had the moves then, of his father, too. Was he I mean, dead already? In his action scenes. Bruce, yeah. Oh, totally. Bruce Lee had been yeah. dead a while. Since the really? 70s. Yeah, since time. the 70s. Really? This happened. He Bruce Lee? Car- a cardiac event? Mm-hmm. He had his body primed to this certain kind of extent, and I think it was something as silly as taking, what, headache medication? Yeah. And he went to very, sleep and never woke up. Yeah. No way. Because it wasn't used to it? Yeah. Because the way they, they do stuff. Wait, so what? He took some headache medication and How just killed him. It, it was he a very, was very... Always been kind of a... He had a routine. And he yeah, had there's not, there's no real. His body and, yeah. So his body didn't know what the hell it was or something. I guess it freaked out. I guess. It, it was. Like that. I mean, it's always it been kind weird of. To it's me. always been controversial. Yeah. His if death. If you go on YouTube, there's yeah. lots right. of people explaining. Because yeah. also, you, know, <laughs> you go back into his history. I mean, he wasn't so just so. like. Yeah. He came yeah. from a, a past dealing with Hong Kong gangs and all kind. He was a member of it, but definitely they were in control of the film industry. Yeah. So. There were they some did, things. They did not like he, what he did. So you don't just, you go did. conspiracy theory with that if you want. They used that. The ice uh, gun that gives you a heart attack. Yep, they, what is so. this? they used it. Was the ice gun? <laughs> it's an actual, it's a device, uh, old spy technology, but it's a gun that can shoot a bullet made out of ice. But what it's it a, does is it, it puts a toxin, a toxin that gives you a heart attack. Oh, okay. And it just enters in and it's untraceable because of just the water it melts. Right. You know? Yeah. What was that thing you told us one time? This is off topic, but you gotta remember. Remind That's me. okay. We were talking about blowfish. It was a fit, no, not blowfish, but a fish that you would use that they would do. Oh, that's... the original zo- zombies came. And one of the things where zombies was coined from is uh, I think it was Haiti or something, but they had this uh, powder um, that you could make from blowfish and a few other things. But if you touch it, it gets in. It's a neurotoxin and it makes you appear dead. So they. Everybody cry. They bury you, but you actually, it just up. slows everything so down that you don't, you can't tell. Yeah. And then whoever did it to you is going to go and and unearth you up, and then you're going to kind of be a servant for that person. You're just sort of like this. Oh, I've heard of that. Almost like an idiot savant kind of. Well, that's not the right thing, but almost like that. And you can see interviews of people who that happened to, and they're super slow. I'm like, how can they serve anybody? They're 
can barely move. They're they don't talk slow. or anything. Yeah. They're just, you know, it's sort of like someone being almost brain dead, oh, seemingly. Okay. But they can walk and Still eat. function, yeah. 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 It's weird. Uh, the movie that uh, Serpent the Rainbow. Serpent the Rainbow yeah. is about that. Yeah. You know, old uh, uh, Wes Craven movie. Yeah. Wes Craven. Mm-hmm. Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman. Bill too. Pullman mm-hmm. and uh, a few other people in it too. Yeah, I can't remember who. Was and that's one of those movies. I'll watch it and I will love it, and then I will watch it again. I'm like, oh, this is crap. And then I watch it I again. It I like and it. And like, and then, it was weird. Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dude, that was so many movies. I hate it. I love it. I know, but, I know. But going back to Bruce Lee, there's, yeah. been, there's been controversy about his death, how he died. Mm-hmm. I think it could be basically what you basically just said mm-hmm. of his, you know, because he, he primed his body into, you know, basically, because he was just purely muscle. Because they, they, mm-hmm. uh, I saw it, like they said, his, they didn't, he barely had any body fat on his It was his, like .0003 <laughs> or something like yeah. that. <laughs> and so he had, like, I mean, Did but he, he was. Did anything fat? Like I said, that's the thing about it, you know. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, he, but they um, but his but that's that's the thing about it is his his son. I mean, it's it's what it is. He died from that, mm-hmm. but it, it's kind of like they called it the curse of the dragon, whatever it was. Ooh, his, right. you know, he died a weird kind of way too. Yeah. So you know, it's kind of weird, you know, that his his yeah. son just happened to die from a weird mm-hmm. occurrence too. Um, or when it was just like, just so happened to be mm-hmm. there. I mean, there's been a controversy that Bruce Lee was killed by ninjas. That's what I sure. <laughs> I think I mean, believe that. Uh, yeah. I mean, really cool. yeah. but I mean, he, he did <laughs> piss, he did piss people off. He sure. did, he, not here, but in he bought, in the, and the mm-hmm. indi- uh, and yeah. overseas, yeah. Uh, he did piss people, because he taught, a, uh, he taught, a, uh, well, he taught karate or whatever to students or whatever at periods yeah. of time before. Country, he, but yeah. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. Yeah, Kung Fu, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, and so they did not want him to teach stuff over here to us. Right. Uh, they were not, they did not like him doing that. Right. Uh, but he developed he his just, own system called Jeet Kune Do, which is yeah. still huge today. Like, they, it's huge. they felt it was more cultural, you know, it's a culture, that's our culture. You don't teach that. This was during a time Makes where right. yeah, we were not, you know, that we were not friends with everybody around the world. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, this was what, in the late sixties, early seventies, probably yeah. around this time. So we were still not in the. And he was doing. He'd done a few films over there in their industry yeah. and stuff. Good ones. Yeah, you know, I like them. Um, and then he came over here and did inner. And I could see him also. He, he did. probably didn't make friends with the whole uh, the show. Have you ever heard of a show called Kung Fu? It's kind of they they did kind of two renditions of it. They had the early one, and then they did one. Legend continues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but originally, of it. what it was, uh, Bruce yeah. Lee's came up with the concept, he, and he was going to act in it and do all of the stuff, and uh, and they decide the industry decided not to because, like, who in their right mind would want to watch an Asian person on a television oh. show? And that was the mindset back then. Yeah. It just shows you how yeah, it's, far, hopefully, we've come. We were, yeah, we were, it was, it was pre- bad. prejudiced against it was Asian, anything that was different from. You know, and so they got yeah. this uh, uh, David Carradine, yeah. man, who the I don't man. think has. The white man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's completely <laughs> Caucasian. There's no Asian in him or anything. Yeah. He knows some kung fu, but <laughs> so, he had so he's the one that was the star of the show and not Bruce Lee, yeah. and so he got kicked to the curb on that. You know, wow. Bruce Lee's number one, number one. But star. he came up with the whole concept. Yeah, his it idea. Because he was on this other show. Um, well, he did a Green he, Hornet. Didn't he, he did Green Hornet, and yeah. he played the sidekick. Yeah. And after a while, like remake, playing but... a sidekick thing is kind of. Well, you know, Kato. That was Bruce yeah. Lee did it on the he show. Was the he Kato. played the original Kato. They're, they're, uh, Watch the was Seth Rogen right the remake. Yeah, right. I haven't seen it. But it's actually pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I, I, yeah, yeah. It I, was it was banned by you know, a lot of people, but I liked it. It was fun. Right. Mm-hmm. Fun mm-hmm. entertainment. Yeah. yeah. What was it banned? You said. I don't know. I mean, it was panned. panned. I should say. Oh, I, did yeah. I say panned or banned? I'm sorry. I didn't oh, mean yeah. to banned, but <laughs> it was panned by a lot of people, critics yeah. and everything, everybody, whatever right. said, oh, it sucked or whatever. But I thought it was pretty good. I it was fun. I'll it check it out. It was fun. I have to check it out too. I, um, I like a decent. But the show, the, the show was kind of like a a, a a creation from the same guy who did Batman, nineteen sixty six TV series. Right. And it was it came out r- roughly around the same time, or was kind of yeah. maybe a little after. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a spinoff of Batman, but it was just like they did do an episode where it was a crossover where they had Green Hornet on Batman or whatever type thing. But um, 
it was the same producer who did the both shows. Right. But it wasn't as campy as no, it was a little more Batman serious, was. A, little it was more a little more action oriented, a little more serious, a little more. Mm-hmm. Like and but Bruce Lee wasn't it? He played the uh, the, but he was he didn't have a lot of lines di- or good dialogue. Action, but it did but, begin his popularity over here because yeah. people loved that show. Yeah. You know? And then he came up with the, the concept in Hollywood. He started making friends with executives and producers yeah. and stuff. And then he had this great concept. They're like, that's great. Through, You're yeah. not going to be in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for this yeah. idea. Yeah. You know? yeah. And money from that? I don't know. I would imagine I don't know. something, I mean, but yeah, you don't know. Episode. You don't know. Like deals. You might get up at uh, $500 maybe. <laughs> you know? uh, a nightmare, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but, uh, but the funny thing about it is the Green Hornet, when it was put over to uh, Japan, or back uh, in Japan and all uh-huh. that stuff, it's called Kato. <laughs> <laughs> the television That's show, funny. whatever yeah, it is, yeah. I think it was called Kato because two yeah. promoters over there. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was his name, I'm sorry. That was his name on the television show, Kato. Right. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know if y'all knew that. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, and There were a lot of, like, uh, they make fun of the show, too. I remember the Pink Panther movies, uh, there's one episode. Uh, oh, yeah, that that's, his, that's his, yeah, his, his uh, uh, butler is named yeah, Kato, or yeah, his housekeeper, yeah. or whatever say, you want to call but it. But he would hire him specifically to attack him, <laughs> you know, so he could, you know, keep be tested, never yeah. ready. <laughs> so every time Clouseau went to his apartment, he'd be, look, it'd be quiet and dark, and he'd be sort of pr- looking around, and then all he'd of a sudden he'd just get attacked, <laughs> like, savagely. <laughs> And it was his housekeeper. He was actually was, wasn't, you know, he didn't try to kill him, or, or, oh, yeah. or he tried to kill him, but it was oh, yeah. like, it was, he did that on purpose. Oh, they wrecked the apartment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so fighting and everything like that. Yeah, it's yeah the, that That's some of the funniest scenes from those movies or whatever, was him just coming home and just, <laughs> but uh, that's what his mother was named, Kato, or, or, you know, they named him Kato in the movie or whatever, as I guess an homage to that character. But, um, but, the, you brought up a uh, uh, pilots and everything. Um, y'all may, don't may not know the show Growing Pains. Uh, the first I liked the first three seasons. Yeah, <laughs> it lasted seven seasons, I believe. Like the first that, three yeah. seasons are pretty good. Yeah. Um, That's part of I connected with it guy. because it reminded me a little bit of my family, but yeah, a little bit. Um, anyway, um, the uh, the first I didn't really notice it until like way later on. They did a separate pilot to it with a different girl playing the daughter right and even it, they did not have all this uh and when they redid the pilot they had a different of course they did a different actress to the, but she can be seen the woman the girl who was in it uh, uh can be seen in one scene toward the end of the episode right when they come because the concept of the uh, the uh, pilot was the the older son gets in trouble when he goes gets uh arrested by police and he's in jail whatever type thing and then when the family comes to the jail to go you know bail him out and all that stuff she's with them and she can be seen with a quick glimpse or whatever type thing with the family coming into the jail because she's not part of the scene i mean she's not like a main you know it doesn't have any lines in the scene right but if you just quick glimpse, you really even in the really actual thing they showed on television, you can see it was a different girl who was with them. And then she becomes she had, she a big the character Missy, in the way. Uh, or, or, yeah, Tracy Gold played yeah. uh, played the the, was re, the one who was recast, but mm-hmm. she she does a really good job. I mean, she did a really good job. I mean, I saw that the they did uh, on the DVDs of the first season. Right. They have the actual pilot that they show that they brought on there. The right. original pilot. Oh, okay. And it's uh, she's not that. Good. They, she doesn't have really a chemistry with the other right. characters and all that stuff. So right. I could see why they yeah. they recasted her, and because um, it's the same thing. Oh, yeah. It's just a different actress playing. Grown Pains is a playing great. I watched, part. I watched that and Family Ties and all the other ones at this around about the same era. Yeah. And um, so they it was a good. Uh, uh, but I you know she, I didn't recognize the actress. I'm not sure if I saw her in anything else in any time or another, but. Um, uh, but yeah, she, uh, Tracy Gold definitely did a better job as the, um, and she's like, she was like two, two or three years older than her older brother, <laughs> or the actress was older than yeah the brother. But anyway, um, uh, another thing is Jefferson's, you brought up Jefferson's the other day. Oh yeah. They did change the, the son. Yeah, I've never seen any of these shows. Yeah, <laughs> Jefferson's uh, spinoff of All in the Family, 
Uh, Sherman Hemsley was the main thing. Cats. Okay. And Jefferson's was awesome, but you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, going, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, sorry. I, 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 no, it's a actually really real check. <laughs> oh yeah, it's <laughs> great. I remember the cartoon. Yeah, they're thinking it's an animated show, but anyway. Uh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, that's. But anyway, um, but there was another. There was another show called Jefferson's, and it was about a guy who got a, a dry cleaners, and he but he built up a empire, and he's old, uh, He's a black man. Oh and see, this yeah. This back in the yeah. like in the seventies. Probably 70s. heard the song. Actually, yeah. yeah, you probably heard the song. I'm sure is a. Um, Moving on up to yeah. the east side. That's that's yeah. that's, that's that's from the Jefferson. To the that's deluxe apartment in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry. That was yeah, about I'm sorry. Two <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Um. But that that uh uh. But he the concept of what he was he had a uh, dry cleaners. He built up to have a lot more dry cleaners. He moving on up. I mean, he was really poor into the right. Because he was a spinoff character from Archie Bunker. Yeah. Which, I don't know if you heard of that either. But. Yeah, but uh, all in the family, whatever you want to yeah. call. It. Uh, but anyway, um, but he, uh, but he was in you know kind of like very, very rich because like I said, this is very odd to have a rich, very rich black guy now. More rich, yeah, yeah. Early eighties. More richer society, whatever. Shown on TV. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, but anyway, uh, they uh, his son, the guy, the actor who played his son. They were two different actors who played his son, mm -hmm. but it was the same, same. Played the same character, but it was two different actors. That, that, right. That's another thing to bring up. There. I mean, that was that was all my whole thing. similar things we can kind of hybrid off, or like where certain shows it could be part of the show itself. Like I, I was talking about, like Doctor Who, where it's like you know you've got all these different actors playing that same character, but that's part. He's an alien, so he regenerates or it regenerates to whatever. It's supposed to only yeah. have 13 lives, that's the thing. We're on number 13 now. But I don't think they're going to end Doctor Who, yeah. so they're going to pull something where he can... You know, he's a Time Lord, so... Yeah. Or, she she is a Time Lord. She's a, now, she, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so, he, now yeah. she. He, now she, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, that's the kind of ingenious, the way they... What they kind of came up with, the concept of it, because, I mean, right. it's... It, to to change, be able to... If, if the actor wanted to go do something or whatever, then right. they, all they had to do was, if they wanted to change the actor... It, it's not a controversy because right. they want to go do something, but it can hurt regenerate. the show and help mm. the show too. Like depending uh, on how they everybody uh, like yeah. a lot of people what when they brought back the show back with number nine or whatever with yeah. Eccleston. Yeah, Eccleston's great. Like I brought my wife in on that, and then when it ended and like he wasn't going to do anymore, she's not going to watch the show anymore. But then David <laughs> Tennant. Missed but David Tennant. Tennant. I know, yeah. but then Tennant, who everybody loves, was the next one after that. Right. You know? And he, but he was only on there for one, one or two seasons, or two, yeah. two or three seasons. Two or three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's like it's and now it's kind of just built into that thing that you know that right where and that's they're not going to be there that long really. Right. Though. I think Tom Baker may have been one of the ones that had the longest, one of sure. the longer I just, fans. It's back I just the remember anyway, PBS, yeah. watching that on PBS years ago this in the eighties. You know, dinosaurs <laughs> walking the earth and all that. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, back when we used to ride the dinosaurs yeah. to the... But, um, you know, we're kind of school. glancing around an area, though, when a show changes, and then it's like, does it, how it affects the viewing audience, you know, in a way. And it, I think there's a big effect in that. And you guys probably experienced that in, in stuff that you watch, where it's like, you really love it, and then all of a sudden it's like, nope. <laughs> you know, so what are some of those instances that we haven't on yet what are some things you can think of we got blues clues we got you know <laughs> or a character leaves maybe or something like that and mm -hmm. it changes the whole dynamic well, of the show with the know, actors Luke, yeah Luke Perry died recently so Riverdale is going to have to find a way to oh yeah, yeah. that's right yeah. my yeah. biggest one is The Office yeah oh yeah well, I watched that one. the last two seasons it was just a drag because like, Corral left you just yeah. Corral left yeah. yeah, so like when you get that far, because Jack, my brother, he oh, said, yeah. I stopped watching after season seven. I was like, oh, why? And he was like, yeah, he didn't tell me. He's like, you just you wait. And I was like, oh, shoot, something bad's going to happen. And then I realized, oh, good, I thought he was going to die. But. <laughs> yeah. Right. Why but then, you know, he just leaves, and then it's just not the same. Right. Because all these, because he got, he was getting a big star by after that. You know, yeah. these big movies, you know, like Get Smart and all that was coming. Uh, yeah. So he did movies, but, you know, you have all these great side characters, but. They're not enough without that main lead, you know. They were enough right. for me for a long 
You think? Yeah. Me? No. I mean, so yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I was, I mean it was I cool. Mean, it was it was fun for a little I bit tried. having like Will Ferrell <laughs> and these other famous actors come for a little bit. Right. But it would have worked for a little bit, but two season was you know it felt long. Right. Like it was a. I felt like I was like wow I'm honestly and don't seven finish years it. into something, there's got to be a bit of a. You gotta have some little bit of a tiredness going along yeah. with that, yeah. you know. And it was, what still, can you it was do? still a cash cow for NBC. That's sure. another reason. That's why I feel like, for, for me, yeah, yeah. I feel like eight seasons is where you should start. Right. I feel like that's it. That. That's right. as far as you should go. Poor community. <laughs> community is kind of interesting. Um, they got rid of an actor, but it didn't affect really the show that much, except you know it was in the news and stuff when they got rid of Chevy Chase. Well, know? I'll tell you, I, I um and actually uh, Donald Glover left the show too. I was say I uh, I didn't watch I didn't watch season six at all mm -hmm. because I looked at reviews and people said it, and what Kat said and people were like it's not really worth watching because the fifth season, um you know Troy leaves. And it, le it leaves on a happy note, mm -hmm. and then in the sixth season, Shirley leaves, mm -hmm. and then it's really just the four of them, right? And it doesn't feel the same. They can't carry it. I mean, Patrick Brewster. I love Patrick Brewster, mm -hmm. but it, it wasn't. Yeah. It, it, it and I'm so different. glad because I finished on the fifth season as the last episode. You know yeah. that season, and I felt pretty good. Yeah. It worked with. The more characters in that. Yes. That, uh, yeah. The more you're you bouncing lose, around with all these different crazy people. And they just start losing. Mm -hmm. So I didn't watch mm -hmm. that last season. Right. And I'm glad I didn't because it, it, it didn't even end. Right. Uh, you know, because that last season of season six is yeah. them pitching an idea for season seven. Well, they're supposed funny. to make a movie. But yeah. Because what's his name kept saying six seasons in a movie throughout. Yeah, <laughs> see, if they make a movie and it ends good, you know, I'll go back and watch season sure. six. But sure. Sure. That's. Very Maybe they can bring back. Know. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, Rick and Morty is. Yeah, that, they got Rick and Morty. Yeah, I, I yeah. want to see some Rick and Morty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't stop Rick and Morty. Yeah, and go uh, back to that. Yeah. Hashtag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that'd be funny though in Rick and Morty. Sorry, everybody. That if they brought some of those community characters into the cartoon world. Oh, that would be kind of. That funny. would be fun. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. would be down for that. Yeah, just as a joke. Joke. Like two seconds. Oh, as something a joke. Something like that. Which they do stuff like that. Yeah. There's so many Easter eggs in that show. It's that really would be funny. so funny. Yeah. Um, what's another one? Uh, I'd mentioned like 007, but this day and age, more so than I think the past, 007 is just recognized as a code name for the person that takes on that position. I think that's sort of more people think of that. When yeah. I was younger as a kid, you know, you had uh, Sean Connery and Roger Moore, you just think, oh, they're playing the same guy. You know, Sean Connery got old, so they, mm -hmm. the franchise could still make money, so they brought in this guy to play that person. And of course, they replace Q and you know Monty Penny and uh, the boss and all that kind of stuff. So. But if you look at it as all of them, now it's not confirmed, but it's just how people theorize. It's how I look at it because right. it makes it more enjoyable for me. Right. But you know, you just see everybody has a because Q, you know, that's a code name. Everybody's got these fun, you know, code sure, names. So exactly. they're switching you out. Exactly. Which I mean, they did in the new ones. See, you know, thanks for shooting. When M died, you know, they switched it with a new yeah. guy. I'll get it to you. So you know, okay. that's how I see Bye. it. I see it. And it yeah, makes yeah. sense because it goes through all time period, you know, 60s, right. 70s, yeah. 80s, 90s. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it makes sense. And that's not really a, yeah. That, that was and with spies, problem. you know, in real life too, you know, spies spies don't last long because, you know, they go through a lot, you know. Yeah. I would imagine. Well, <laughs> it, I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't want to get that. You know? <laughs> so. But, I mean, it is, well, it is the changing of a character and even though you're, they're mm -hmm. playing the same character. True. So everybody has their favorites. Everybody it's got to work. Their, yeah. oh, I like the, you know, Connery years or well, I like the yeah. more years or whatever. Am I the only one that likes Pierce? Pierce I like no. the first one. I love those. I like Goldeneye. I love those first two. Well, see, I, I figured out this is my own thing. I'm not saying anybody. Really? So Actually, I've got to like, argue with that. The, just good, the characterization, not yeah. necessarily the movies are the best. He fits, but so, the, yeah. the perfect danger underneath this veneer of charm. Sure, exactly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He... The reason uh, about uh, just a quick thing about the uh, the uh, I went through a whole I got the whole all the movies on DVD went through them all I mean I'm all from that from the first yeah it's like a in order oh my in God. order I went through them all not in one night or one you know right. days or whatever type thing sure. but it was just you know over a period of time <laughs> and I went through them all and I remember watching the Connery and some of the more stuff on television when I was a kid. Every Sunday night, you used to show mm -hmm. them all the time on ABC. Yeah. Uh, 
and I remember watching them because my dad was a huge Bond fan. But anyway, um, and I remember watching some bits and pieces here and there. Some of them I saw all the episode or all the show, and uh, or all the movie, I should say. Uh, but some of them my bits and pieces. But um, and I went through them all and said, okay, I want to just you know see what's going on. And I started watching them. And I went through them all, and the funny thing about it is the, the when I got I got to uh, Casino Royale with Jamie Carrick. When I got to that, I was just like, that was a good movie, but the other ones I couldn't. <coughs> it was like they're okay, you mm-hmm. know, or Sky whatever. Skyfall wasn't that bad. I did not like a Sky. Can we talk I've about heard... Skyfall? Yeah. Everyone <coughs> praises yeah. it, and I'm always the odd one out because when I watch it, I'm so bored. I'm with you. So I'm bored. with you. And my I problem with the Bond with films, and it's just maybe for me, I like I Pierce Bronson's like Golden Eye and Tomorrow Never Dies because like, to, and a lot of um, people don't really like, I don't know, like Tomorrow Never Dies, but I like it so much because it's just constantly like, you know, he's in that BMW mm-hmm. and then there's the motorcycle chase with the helicopter. You know, Golden Eye, you got him in the jet, you know, and they're trying to get out, you know. Down on Craig ones, you know, it's just more like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Like, Casino Royale is good, though, because it has the airport. So <coughs> Casino Royale is a great movie. Yeah. And it's, like, you know, building up, building up. Mm-hmm. But I agree totally with him. I, with I like, feel like Casino Royale is, like, a perfect one. It is a perfect yeah, one. I thought that was It was good. So, like, like yeah. you're saying, yeah. like, Skyfall, like, the, the grand finale I, is actually, just kind of... I liked Quan Masalas better than Skyfall. I did, too. Honestly. I'm glad you said that. I a lot never people, watched it. I know, people a lot of people didn't like Quan Masalas. A lot of people hated Quan It's funny you guys bring that up. I watched Quan Masalas. I watched them all, you know. Yeah. You know, Craig... And I hate to be like this, but like, <laughs> Quantum Sauce and Casino Royale are my favorite ones. Right. And I, I, I reviewed and reviewed because you know, <coughs> I was trying to figure out why people hated it. Right. Everything they hated, I like, I'm like, I get it, but like, yeah. it goes from like, starts off with a cool car chase, mm. and I get the editing is a little hard, but it works for it yeah. for me because it's like, sure. in it, and you know, it's right. chaotic, you know? Right. It and was like, it was continuation from yes. San Real too. And right. and maybe, I've said this, and I think people maybe are Bond uh, uh, perfectionists or whatever. Where Bond usually it's ends the movie, yeah. and There's no connection to the next one right. or whatever. He's on the but next mission or whatever type thing. That's why the reason some I of them say they're my dark. favorite is mm-hmm. I see them as one movie. Right. I watch them back to back on purpose. And yeah, I basically did. It's I just I one big movie, and it's a good story. I think I even watched Spectre too, and it, I didn't. No, I don't I remember anything about I, it. I didn't watch it because I didn't I, like. I, did I didn't not. like Scarface. I went so to I the didn't theater. Even go to it. Right. <laughs> Funny thing on that was the first Bond film I saw in the theater, mm-hmm. and I was like, mm, I wasn't. Mine was Moonraker. Right. Right. Yeah. Mine was Moonraker. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to say. Quantum Solace though. It's a very cheesy. No one can argue with me with this though. Quantum Solace is one of the cool best endings when he lets go of the past. Yeah. Right. With the girl, you know, because mm. he he right there wants to kill that guy, you know, and then the end he just walks away. Mm. It's really nice setting, you know, the yeah. snow, and he walks away. The reason why I don't like Pierce Brosnan, uh, this was maybe at my time, my age at the time. Mm-hmm. I was actually y'all's age at the time, or no, I was a little older than y'all, maybe just a little older than y'all now, when it came out, and I went to the theater to see Goldeneye. It had been a long time since they'd had a Bond movie. It had been. I don't remember how many years. Because it was, uh, it was the what's his name Last Timothy Dalton, uh, License to Kill was the last one yeah, that he did before. Mm-hmm. I don't remember time frame as much as like distance between the two, uh, but it was a right. period of time. I think it was right. six years. Maybe. Something like that. Uh, I'm not going to argue because I'm not sure at the time. But uh, they, um, period of time, this is Bond. By the time Goldeneye came around, Time had changed a little bit of you know the country had changed a little bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, granted, it's not he's not he's not American spy. He's you know yeah, British spy. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, stuff's changed. The world had changed. Yeah. And the when they started the movie, I'm th- I'm watching it. And I'm like, uh, because when he's talking to his boss at the very start of it, mm-hmm. the boss said, "We're gonna stop. We maybe started cutting out the double O's, because." Uh, uh, she's talking about him about saying that we're t- uh, uh, the possibility of the double O's may be gone now. And he said, "You're you know, the whole thing about the British, you know, the romancing all these women and all this other stuff. You know, the, all, the whole thing about you know is gone. Uh, gone. You're a dinosaur." Right. And I'm like thinking, man, she's right. That kind of concept is yeah. kind of a di- at that time. That is kind of a 
but we're still going to have a movie there. Uh, could anyway yeah, have a yeah. movie there? And it's just like, and then from then on, he didn't have any gadgets. He didn't have any kind of major gadgets during He's that. Huh? Some gadgets? Not in that movie. Goldeneye? Yeah. Get the pen. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. It's like the it's best part. exploding pen. And that's all the whole thing was. <laughs> it was that. And, and there was... Oh, right, the, right. And the whole the scene, the, scene, the whole thing where everybody kept on clicking that whole scene. I thought that was kind of dumb. Anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> But I watched these when I was young. These are the first yeah. bomb films I saw. So. And people yeah. still play the video game. I played it. I had played it. People My dad and me played it, which is again and, probably why I like it. And that's yeah. when I was just like, and then I think that <laughs> the the whole conversation between that, you know, that happened, and then the, of course the pin thing, and all this other stuff. I'm like, man, this is kind of a dumb movie, and I was just like. I'm done with Bond, and so I didn't watch any yeah. of the other stuff right. until Green. I love the until tanks. I love when the music, his theme, you know, mm-hmm. he's like, "Where's Bond at?" And then he just, and he just comes through the, the building yeah. with the tank. Yeah. yeah. And until I watch, until I went to those Bond movies like this at that time, yeah. and then I started watching. I did watch all the Prison Brosnan movies too, but like I said, when I it wasn't until Casino Royale when I stepped out from that movie, I'm like, man, that was a really good movie. Right. And that was the only one after all yeah. those Bond movies. That's one of my favorites. I should have been recent, at least a yeah. few of them. <laughs> yeah. Four or five mm-hmm. of them maybe coming off of them saying, well, that was a good movie. Yeah. No, it was that one that hit, hit me. And you know what's funny? The, the and director so, who did that did Goldeneye. Really? Yep. They brought him. Okay. Bring him back. Okay. So what's, uh, what's the worst Bond film that y'all have seen? Oh, you want to know mine? What's it's the Pierce worst? Bronson's The World Is Not Enough. Is that the one with the ice castle and all that stuff? No, that's oh, actually you know what I like the ice woman in this one just oh. for any of those because <laughs> the villain you need to watch it he 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 got shot in the head right right so he feels no pain and it's he's goofy there's a scene where uh there's Bond like has him and he just he just looks at Bond he goes like that <laughs> and he's just like ha, ha. it's so goofy like yeah, but the yeah. movie's so boring and it's so. It's insulting to women. Like the girls always yeah. go, James. Yeah, yeah. James. See, that that's what. That's James. what. It's I so mean, insulting like, to women. Like, I can't stand it. it. Well, like girls are not that. Diff- that girls that, are not yeah. like that. No. Nah. So I can't. I don't. Is like that, that one of the ones with Christmas world. Jones? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's the one of the, the terrible ski chase scene where uh. they just blow up and and they just hit a tree and blow up. Like it's just it's not working. It didn't work for me. There's one where this uh, the love interest is supposed to be the scientist, but they that's made Christmas complete, Jones. Oh my Christmas god! Yeah, that's that was the one. Enough. Yeah, that's probably the worst one. I've it's ever the worst seen. one. Now, what I have experienced is I grew up loving the um, Sean Connery ones and all that kind of stuff, and I saw them mm-hmm. like he did on TV yeah. commercials and Pan and Scan and all that. Right. But um, it's hard to go back and watch those and take them seriously because. Every other sentence is just baked with misogyny. <laughs> yeah. It's just like yeah, every no, word. No, they no, just no, squeeze no, it in. So oh, I totally. <laughs> yeah, almost every. It, yeah, it's tough. I mean, it was what, rough going through them all. I know. <laughs> what I like about them is a little bit of. I like that style, that futurist style of the 50s. I like the how things looked a little bit. You got all this kind of things in wood paneling and, and these. I wouldn't deck my house out like that, but you know, it's still kind of interesting to see that style. Like uh, Doctor No, the first one, actually, kind of, I can see how all these other like spoof cartoons mm-hmm. that spoof off of that, like, kind of go. You have like the crazy scientist in the jungle or whatever, in an underground Pussy lab, and Pussy all Pussy that kind of stuff. You know, yeah. Um, and, um, Venture Brothers kind of bites onto that a little bit. Johnny Quest sort of captures mm-hmm. a little bit of that mystique. And, yeah, I just, it's, like I said, it was, I mean, Which I just, one did you hate the most? Huh? Which one did you hate the most? Hate the most? The Pearson Brosnan ones, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> like, but, which one out of them all, the um, Goldeneye? That, no, not, not that one. That was, when I saw it again, again, Tomorrow, I saw it, you know, Dino again. Day, you know, when, 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 I liked that one better. Yeah, I liked it better. Now, I'm honestly, it's great. Right. I liked it but, I mean, better than The World's Not Enough. Just well, like, right. so bland. It was, the yeah, one, those right. ones were just, yeah, Bond kind of films, for me, just, are supposed to have cool gadgets Cool sequences, cool cars. Yeah, and uh, like like Skyfall and all that, they they just kind of oh, have that stuff's not in that. But Skyfall. It's very just, serious, which is I mean, why I'm not saying it's a bad movie. Yeah. It's just not I my kind of movie. Just, I heard some so so great things about Skyfall. I was Same. like, oh cool, I can't. You know, I'm sitting down and watching it. And I'm just like, and my dad and, and I fell asleep. But my dad is a Bond film. Like he loves it. And mm-hmm. He got me into it, and he watched it, and he didn't like them. He misses the whole gadgets and the right. Crazy cars, because you know, die another day. It's not a good one, but the best scene 
had involved that Aston Martin fighting the the Jaguar with the car chase, where like James his car is you know he's driving and uh, he flips on over and he's right. sliding and the other guy's gonna shoot him with a missile. Right. But then uh, James looks at the ejection seat right. and shoots it, so it shoots the car back up and it flips and the missile goes <laughs> right as he flips. <laughs> right. Like that. That's cool. Like that's what. We, sure. That's my kind of thing. Nice and the action of camo and, and, stuff. and the guy yeah, like yeah. he's spying you and the guy runs into the car because it's invisible. Mm-hmm. Camo comes off like this is, that's the kind of stuff I like. Yeah. Five bomb films, right. and I'm hoping they go back to that eventually because I know this is the dark. This is like the Dark Knight right now. Right, <laughs> that's how I feel it is. I'm yeah. like, let's go back now to the, like the fun like Kingsman. Right. So I love the first uh, Kingsman about, movie. The first one's great. The second one is horrible. Horrible. I don't <laughs> know what the, happened. It's like let's get rid of everything that made it good and let's yeah. make it just completely it blew my despicable. Mind how terrible, terrible. Like mm-hmm. off it, it was. It Everyone took, felt like. They were in a movie. Like it was they felt a totally unreal. Different yeah. movie. It's like, the, the same first guy. One had a little bit of seriousness yeah. embedded in it. Mm-hmm. And this one had no seriousness what? in it. I thought. Yeah, well, yeah, the, yeah, I'm really with you. I, the first one I thought was okay. I, I'll be honest with you. The first one I thought was all right. I'm not, you know, disputing y'all. Way. I know yeah. a lot of people liked it. And it I yeah. thought it was all right. Yeah. But like you said, I didn't like the second one. Oh, the second one was, was even horrible. Just, it was just like, Can we ex- <laughs> someone explain to me, like, what happened? Like, why? I, don't I don't want that explanation I think myself. They, I think they the Because it looked like they were trying to do, like, hey, isn't this interesting? We're going to have a spy or whatever you want to call it. American spy group over here. Right. And we'll, you know, we'll get with them and, Which, hey, you know, let's see what the differences between them. And that's, again, the interesting Which, and you know, all that stuff. And we could play it off that. Could work. But then they said, during the middle of it, it seemed like, cut, cut, cut. Yeah, screw that. And then we'll just do the, <laughs> whatever. We'll just use one pair of character just, from it. Completely and... different time. <laughs> I remember, we should probably look it up. I remember the one guy, he, he steps on the landmine. And it's supposed to be a really sad scene, and I ended up laughing because it was just so forced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, he was like, go! Just get out of here! You can't save me! I'm sitting there like, what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> just get out of it. It just felt forced. Yeah. I didn't like uh, I don't know. Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore's a great actress, and she has played in so oh, many I good know. movies and all that stuff. But then her, she was just like, what? Was, I think it was the plot. Yeah. Like it just, I, I, for me, it was just like they decided, let's take away anything that keeps it earthbound and make it a complete like slapstick comedy. And it just did They're not... They're doing a third one, too. They're planning on I third don't see one. how. I don't know. What do you think? Did you see like... the Kingsman stuff? I'm trying to find the sneeze. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> At least I hope I'm about to sneeze. Look at the light. Look it's at always the light. my reaction to the second movie. <laughs> Um. <laughs> it was not oh well. Yeah, for me, uh, the number of things I see with Julianne Moore in them is it's like two percent I like it, and the rest like no, <laughs> no, why? <laughs> so I didn't watch the second one specifically because she was the villain, and I'm like I don't, right. I wanted I'll just stake. <laughs> With, with, you know, I mean, you the Big Lebowski. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's incredible in The Big Lebowski. Oh, my God. The, the good yeah. stuff. You didn't miss much. You didn't miss much. I love sure. that you haven't seen the prequels for Star Wars. I love that she hasn't seen that. Like, don't ever watch them. Watch The Clone Wars. Yeah. The, the cartoon yeah, series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that will give you I'll enough information. Yeah, probably you more information. Movies, yeah. 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 Yeah, you can. Watch the Darth Maul fight from the first one. Yeah. Second one, watch the arena stuff. Uh, actually, the second one, actually, the battle. That whole battle on that planet's it's good. Pretty. Third one, there's some good stuff. But, you know. <laughs> a few things. A few I things. just don't like it. Guys. Stop it before Vader's like, Padre. People, you know, like, the, they're like, everyone tells me, everyone tells me the best <laughs> one is like, Revenge really? of the Sith. And I can't agree with you on that. Yeah. Uh, that end fight with Obi-Wan and Anakin, I don't feel it. Yeah, I it looked at the 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 effects do not. It, I they do know. not. Uh, they they don't age very well no. during that what fight. What really did it for yeah. me though that lightsaber fight was why are they swinging and hitting? You know when they swing on the cables yeah. and they go. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then they come back and they're like. And they hit right on the swords. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, what exactly. are you doing? Yeah. Do you yeah. flip over? It's like I'm like shooting the swords. <laughs> it's like a circus. Yeah. <laughs> and. Where they, if there was like real, so one of them would have just like, like oh, I said, the effects cut the line, they would die. So I think the second one is the best, and people are like, 
Dwayne, what? But I'm it like, would have been more interesting to having them on just a platform where they were just like <laughs> yeah. jumping around and you know sword fighting, and that's it. That's all it was. Was that that whole thing would have been more yeah. interesting than than him going over but lava? We'll and all say this: yeah. me and my friends, we make so many jokes with the third film, even when we're playing games. Like we'll be, you know, like I'll play against my friends, and I'll be on like the high ground, and I always go, "It's over." I have the high ground, and then my friend will be like, you underestimate my power, and then I'm about to jump, and they're like, don't do it, and I'm like, I'll do it. Like, so I thank the prequels for that, Right. we have so many jokes, Funny. we meme off that. Hayden Christensen, I believe it or not, is a decent actor. He is. In oh, other yeah, things, he's good. In other I've things. seen him in another thing, and I was like, pretty good. That's yeah. great. But that one, But even Natalie movies, Portman feels flat. Yeah, she does. Season. She's she great. Not wanna be, she does not want to be there. I she does not want to be there. Um, <laughs> she's the only one that really shines is Ewan McGregor. As, uh, he is the best thing about this movie. They should have just made Kenobi movies. I want an <laughs> old man Obi-Wan movie. Make it, make it rated R. Oh, yeah. You don't even need action. I just want to see how beat up he is. Because you think about it, This is a man who probably blames himself. For the Jedi dying. Oh, yeah. He was responsible for Anakin. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Think about it. Your religion is gone. Right. Just gone. Actually, like, Qui Gon is responsible it. for Anakin. But, you know, yeah, 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 true. Yeah, but you, you know, Obi-Wan would blame himself. I just think of yeah, many chlorians, and then I'm like, oh, yeah. no. don't forget that. <laughs> that never happened. I know, I know. But wipe it from your head. I'm but, trying. Uh, <laughs> but, I got triggered. But, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it just to be called Kenobi. Yeah. Please. Not Please even the Star Wars on top. No, yeah. just no, Kenobi. 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 Kenobi, bitch. <laughs> That's, That's the family guy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> shows up, like, he shows up kicking ass. And you know how I wanted to end? Yeah. You, want, you want to know how I would end it if I directed this movie? Yeah. I would end it with you think it's going to be this big lightsaber fight because Darth Maul comes back, right? Right. And he wants revenge, you know, right? Sure. And they have this huge conversation. They're like, it's from, <laughs> it's from the, 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 the movie, The Clone. Yeah. Right, right, it's right. It's the one thing I saw where they're talking, you know. And then Darth Maul pulls out his saber and Obi Wan's like, come at me. And he just runs at him and he does this whole the fashion samurai move where he goes right. like this, you know? Right. And Maul just falls in his hands, you know? Right. And then the last thing he says is, he says, keep the kid safe. Because huh. he's the chosen one, and he dies in his arms. Wow. I think that's from Rebels, I think. Huh. But, oh my yeah. god. I need to catch you up. You cried. I was, like, in tearful for, like, Maul, because you realize, you know, he's not a bad guy, really. He's just been, you know, city has betrayed him. Got rid of him, you know? Oh, yeah. And the fact that he knows about Luke, and he's, like, he's the chosen one, keep him safe. Like, you end it like that, Kenobi. That sounds cool. You guys should look it up. You should look it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what it, was in Rebe- it was in Rebels. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's a really yeah. good scene. I saw Rebels. I've seen Rebels. Um, old series. It started see. out being a little bit yeah. jarring to Kitty Pat a little bit, but then it yeah. got you started getting serious. You know what I'm talking about, right? You saw yeah, that? Rebel, yeah, Rebels. You liked it, right? Yeah, it was yeah. good, right? I like I Rebels as a, uh, you, you a series. It? I've seen a few episodes of season one and season two. I want to. I need to find it. And Just watch that one scene, though. Like That's how I would end the Kenobi Final act. Definitely should be. Like, oh, yeah, and then, says, and then he says, stands up and says, I'm Kenobi, bitch. And McGregor's up for it, too. I watched an interview because they asked, Is this happening? He says, I haven't heard anything, but I'd totally be down. I'm just like, and He drops his lightsaber. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we? Uh... All right. And with that, I'm Kenobi.